Today I'm prepping for a sip and paint that I have to teach tomorrow night. So I packed up, went outside, and painted this flower field painting that the host sent to me and I wanted to take you guys along. So if you're interested, stick around. My routine for when I teach sip and paints is I paint the piece prior to the event to plan out each step and I try to paint the piece in about 30 to 45 minutes. That way I plan for a two to two and a half hour time block for the guests. I also use student grade acrylics when I'm doing my test run at home to get a better idea of the color mixing, the opacity, and different layers that I'm going to need at the event as opposed to me using my personal heavy body acrylics. This is the first sip and paint that I'm doing since the start of the pandemic but prior to that I typically only did about two to three of them a year but I think it's a great side income for beginner artists and it provides opportunity to get connected with different people and more exposure of your own personal work. If you're looking to get started with something like this, I recommend finding inspiration photos on Pinterest. I could not find the exact flower field that the host sent me for this, but there's similar ones on Pinterest. And you want to look for an easy beginner level because typically your guests that are at the sip and paint parties are beginner, they're looking to have fun, and they don't want anything that's going to stress them out. Oftentimes we do seasonal paintings such as like a fall scene or a winter scene, spring, summer, etc. But once you've got your photo, practice it at home and what you're practicing is the order in which you're going to teach this painting to people, how to simplify everything, even how you're going to teach them how to hold the brush. Us as experienced artists, we're often not thinking to ourselves, oh I'm going to, you know, turn the brush vertical, horizontal, and those are questions that you'll find that people have like what way am I holding the brush how am I getting this brush stroke so now you as the teacher take that step to organize yourself at home if it helps writing down all of your steps and teaching points that will be really good as well so if you're an artist and you're interested in earning some extra money and you want to do one of these but you're not sure where to go, I recommend reaching out to your local restaurants, cafes, little pop-up shops, or any other place that you notice holds any type of events. Maybe it's something like a winery and just emailing somebody, calling, whatever you have to do and just propose the idea to them and you might find that a lot of places are interested because it brings people into their space as well and it's a fun event. So for when you first start out, you can invest in some tabletop easels that are pretty cheap, a pack of 16 by 20 canvas, some student brushes, a bulk supply of student grade acrylic, maybe some mason jars for your water cups, and you're pretty much good to go. I personally have done events where the supplies are provided to me and I essentially do my painting prior to the event and then I show up as the teacher and I help set up and clean up but I do not have my own supplies. I do think that it is worth the investment because it allows for more opportunities for you to freelance and go to various settings that wouldn't normally have these supplies. If you have any questions, definitely comment them down below. Also, feel free to paint along with me step by step while I prep for this sip and paint.
so we're almost done i definitely tried to keep it super beginner friendly i have all my steps organized and i'm pretty much ready to go So I typically get to the event a little bit early to help set up. I brought my easel, lighting, and my palette, and I only had a party of five tonight. As you can see, bulk student grade acrylics, and yeah, I'm just setting up all of my paint, getting ready for the guests to come. I will say this was the smallest one I've ever done, but it was actually really good because I was able to help out more. Overall, the group had a really good time. All of their paintings came out beautiful and original, and I hope that you gained something from this video as well. Feel free to check out my Instagram, also my shop where I have prints of all of my original paintings, and stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!